Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so, guess we'll check out uh, maybe the hospital. Maybe a dear old hospital. Sure, I found some shit for these people. Oh, fuck, really? Why is he here? Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Jacob has 300 IQ. I'm too smart. All right. Fuck. Where are the people to talk to? Nope. So I, I got a bunch of random crap, so I, uh, here we go, see? I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. Yes, General Corellius should make a full recovery. He's oh, that was fast. Already made a full recovery. <clears throat> Did I even get anything for that? I could get nothing popped up, I think. Going like, hey, you got credits. He gave you money. Whatever. Yeah, fuck off, Jacob. Alright. Well, down to... Guess the Presidium Commons. Always a lovely place. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Nah, I guess nothing here. I also think I got all the upgrades already, so. I got everything still shut up here. Fucking wonderful. Fuck. I was hoping it would show me shit, but no. Alright, who's this sketchy fellow? Yeah, okay, I don't have his thing. Maybe soon. So why aren't the keepers cleaning up? Isn't that their job? Wow, they're gonna name fucking the kid after me. Do you hear the excitement? You 
sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring. Getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. We all do stupid things as kids. There's no denying that, but in a way, I was lucky. My mother scolded me, but she also bought me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. I'd question your character if you didn't. I suppose. I don't often talk about it. Hey, you'll stop grieving when you want to. Strangely, that's comforting. Thank you, Shepard. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Wow, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way, too. I know. Hello, Shepard. Establish a rekindle of relationship, yeah. There you go. Ah. <laughs> uh. Her name is Tasha Foray. Of course. I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. I'm saying first time they are and I do the business. I say about the condoms. Tested it, right? Tell me you tested it. <laughs> uh, dude, I, I, I bet I bet the entire series is just filled with amazing dirty talk. If we just take completely out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Intel dropped the ball, sir. Uh, fuck. Spectre status recognized. Please, one moment, please. Get me out of here. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Will your new heavy armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you're fighting. Well, it won't stop a Reaper, but. An extra second of shielding can be life or death. So Vortex makes good shield capacitors? The best. They don't skimp on plating either. I love it. Sounds like you want to get back out there to try it out. You know, a little. Can't wait to show it off to the team. Maybe I can take point more often now. Why is the club just like a constant place we can go? Holy shit. Fucking those ass cheeks. The hell? What do you want? I've recovered some tech from a library in Reaper controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D24 if that would help. Really? Well, oh, damn. Couldn't hurt. Thank you. The problem is, I have no context because I, I. Do you think I remember one of the conversations I had with these people? I know it's Cortez. Hey, what the fuck? Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the Empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold power. Something on your mind? I mean, processing something? Shall each man find a wife for his bosom, and each beast have his mate, and I be alone? It is from an old Earth novel by Mary Shelley. Please do not take it as a complaint. All right. It did bring up a new perspective, however. I am a thing that is not human. Geth, or Reaper. Other AIs are experiments only, tightly controlled. 
I am free, but alone. Are you moping? Snap out of it. Moping implies that I feel badly about my situation. I do not. I only wish to know where my place is. Artificial intelligences often consider themselves above organic life. I, however, am uncertain if that applies to me. The crew of the Normandy believe I serve them, but also acknowledge that I keep them alive. Am I above them or below? Edie, you're what, three years old? If you were human, you'd still be learning to talk. But it is impossible that I am held to the same standards as organics. Ah, I see. You made me answer my own question. If I am not subject to the same expectations, I need not worry about rank. Thank you, Shepard. That helps resolve the conflict I was having. If I am not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. The going gets tough and my former engineers hit the bar. Shepard! You're alive! I told you. Nothing can take down Shepard. We heard about the Reapers attacking Earth. Then Cerberus decides to screw you too. I can't believe we work for them. Not anymore. So you're not on the Elusive Band's payroll anymore? After the Alliance locked you up and impounded the Normandy, Cerberus recalled the whole crew. But we slept away. We were there for the Normandy. For you. Nor for them. And there was something creepy about those recall orders. Just didn't feel right. She's got good intuition. How do I know you've really broken ties with Cerberus? Well, Commander, we are as Cerberus as you are. Nearly our whole time with them was under your command. And that's where we belong. We'll serve on whatever ship you fly. Trust us. Grab your gear. Normandy's docked at Bay D-24. You've got Normandy back? Fantastic. I missed her. Thank you, Commander. We'll see you on board. Nice. I actually didn't mind them. I hear that Joker's dancing. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. We're still sitting on the dock. My friend finds us a few loose crates. You bring in your ship, we split it. 50 50. What do you say? I should slit your goddamn throat? What? Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Yes, make it required. All right. <clears throat> so we have the other docking bay, and then we have. We can start the uh, Omega stuff, and then we're good. Spectre status recognized. Uh, Please select a destination. Yeah, we did all that. Shit, really? Commander, thanks for coming. I wanted to pay my respects to your family. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. Wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile in his face for us. He sounds like a fine man. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training? Mm 
Oh good, she's a mute. And now they're just awkwardly staring at each other. Hi. I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. Oh, we got a new attack. Oh. Alright, fine. I see how it is. Is it what's up? What else is here? Oh good, James is here. And Tactus. Oh. That's more important than James. It's ta Tactus full of shit. Okay, I was gonna make a tactical P pun, but didn't quite come out right. What the fuck are you doing? Are you getting a fucking massage from Batarian? James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Don't take this lightly, Vega. I'm not. And I won't. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Don't just tell me. Show me. Yes, sir. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! Hopefully he's drawing a dick on the back. Because he's Batarian. He's trying to not let me see his back. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no, who did that? I don't know, I just saw him with his shirt off and I, I jumped to conclusions, what can I say? Oh good, Tactus is here. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes, someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. My mission is our only hope to turn back the Reapers. I need every edge I can get, and that includes your equipment. And the supplies I have to offer are just what your people need. Think this through, Tactus. Okay, okay, I see your point. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. The fuck? What do we even get for this? I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. I guess you can go tell Chuck while everything's good. Yeah, yeah, my favorite part. Looks like you've been in some fights lately. Install me in a combat mech, and I can do some pretty crazy damage myself. Am I just supposed to investigate these? Alright. And I guess now we get to go talk to him again. Why didn't they get experience for interacting with those? I demand a refund. I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Oh, God, no. 
Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. There you go. I, I left her alive in the first one. And, uh, we got the Turian 7th Fleet. Dude, he just comes over there, he's like, Hey you, you're under arrest. And, and then the guy's like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's how I would be too. I mean, you're dealing with the Conrad Adverter. Actually, I didn't fix this one. I may have lied to him. Well, whatever, he, he won't know the truth. It's all good. That was, uh, that was interesting. Alright. To the docking bay. And there's probably something still to do here. We can talk to Chuck West, and then we can go start the Omega bay stuff. From Omega to Mars. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. <laughs> Outstanding. I mean, we should look at the journal real quick. Yeah, we can't do that. Can't do that. Holy shit, there's so many here. Uh, find a way to treat some medical person. Doc 42 of the Citadel. Uh, it's, that's the, that's the Omega stuff. We're still looking for some stuff. Yeah, I can't fucking do any of these. Yeah, so some of them are just undoable because of how I've done things, but that's okay. I mean, honestly, I probably could have also done some missions and missed them, but... Do I care? I don't. Yeah, we'll go talk to Chuck Wes. That's why I came over here. I'm sworn to carry your burdens. I... You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. No crew health issues to report. No crew health... So what's that upgrade do? Just as efficiency is increased. Health issues to report. I don't know. Is there anything new here? Marksman. Boost weapon accuracy and firing rate for a short time. I don't think I really want that. I'll be honest. I think I'm pretty accurate as it is. Maybe that's exactly what I need when I'm being casual. Oh, right, what's over here? Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. I would love that. Oh, here we go. Med base surgery. 
Minor surgery will erase all scarring from your cyberdeck implants. If we go out of cosmetic improvements, you will gain a small boost to your overall health. I want the health bonus. 5% health. Weapon upgrade kit. Uh, one time use for our weapon damage or ammo. I mean, weapon damage. 5% means a lot. So, my scars remain. Thanks for coming by. No problem. Thanks for coming by. No problem again. Why would we fix my scars? They're part of who I am. Oh, big speak right again. Alright, let's go. Let's see if the captain's cabin has anything. Nope, nobody send up. Just, uh, we can romance the space hamster, obviously, but you know. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Adams is here. Actually, we didn't talk to him yet. So we still have a bit to do before we end it. Seems that every time we get to the Citadel, it's, it's like two fucking episodes. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Commander. Nice. I'm glad the Commander didn't forget about us down here. I told you Shepard would come visit. <laughs> Aww. They're adorable. Alright. Uh, we're gonna peace out after I check my mail. Okay, that's it. Uh, take care, goodbye.